Hi, my name's Charles and I'm one of the maths teachers from the Maxim Workshop. I'm just going to now teach you how to do some math. I'm going to show you how to multiply square roots. A square root is pretty much going to be visible to you in any sort of textbook by this sign. Okay? Now, imagine if I was to try to show you what a square root does to a number. Say, for instance, we take four. This square root, when operate, operating on four, will have the effect of bringing down this number down to a single number when multiplied by itself produces four. So, the number that we can think of is two, because two times two is equal to four, okay? So that's pretty much what a square root does. So, if we had four square root times four, this is what happens when we try to multiply square roots by each other, okay? The first thing you would want to do is to say to yourself, okay, I need to bring these numbers together. And we can do that by saying the square root goes over both numbers now. So we take off one of the square roots and we put both numbers inside the square root. So we've got four times four, okay? Now, four times four is 16. So, we bring this all the way down here, and we have square root of 16, okay? So, the square root now, we're looking for two numbers, or a number, when squared provides 16. That's basically the definition of 16 square root. So, the number that we can think of now is four, okay? So that's the solution to 16 square root. Now, just imagine if we wanted to multiply two different numbers, because in this um, situation, we took square root of four and multiplied it by square root of four. So when we have two different numbers now, say for instance, the square root of five and the square root of three, we just have to apply the same procedure, okay? Nothing changes. So we bring the two numbers under one square root. So that's our first step. So we've got a larger square root three times five. And now, we think of what three times five is, and that's simple, 15. So again, the statement that the square root um, prompts us to, um, to um, establish with this square root of 15 is what number can be squared together to provide 15? Now there's no number, so we just have to leave this as that. So there's no more further simplification that we can do to square root of 15, likewise with many other numbers. So that's how to multiply square roots.